Awesome. So now that the video is on the business page, here's what we're going to do next. So let's leave this. Actually, you know what? What you want to do first is, is you want to touch it up. So again, from the cell phone, it goes straight to the Facebook business page. And then once it's on the business page, then you come here on a computer and then touch it up. And, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean by touching it up. Okay. Um, so go ahead and click, okay. on, click on those three dots right there in the top right of the video, of the post, those three dots, and then click on edit. So go ahead and click on edit post. So touching it up means just adding some text adding some text and even um, adding a, a, you got a title. So you have a title and then you have describe your video. So those are the two sections that also show in the, in the, in the post, in the video while, as you're running the ad. So it's the title and the, and the description. So that's what we want to do from here. So we want to, and again, that's why I'm saying upload it from your phone first and then come on a computer and do all this stuff. So go ahead and put a yeah. title, like something short, something descriptive, something, I mean, yeah, like a short description, like a short, just title, like introducing yourself or, or whatever, like, let me introduce myself or, you know, something short and catchy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't know what to put. Uh, put, um, put, um, how long you been, how long you been in the business? Oh, Jesus. Um, what is this? Uh, We're in 2020. Over 12 years. Uh huh. Since okay. uh, 2008. Since 2008. Okay. So 12 years. So, so, so. Um, get, uh, okay. Get to, get, get to know the girl behind the brand. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Get to, get to know the girl behind the brand. And then, and then put the company name. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Get to know the girl behind the brand. And then maybe put a comma after brand. Get to know the girl behind the brand, comma, and then Gidry Realty Group. Perfect. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Perfect. Can I put my tagline, it's time to win with Felicia. <laughs> yeah, you could do that there. Actually, you know what? Not not there. You'll do that on the you'll do that below. You'll do that in the description. So bring that, bring okay. that G, bring that 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 in your last name, bring that back a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So in the description, yeah, you could put, put you could put your, your tagline right here in the description. So let's just describe it real quick. Like servicing the Houston area for the past 12 years when it comes to buying and selling you know, residential real estate, allow me to introduce myself and, and I'm just kind of freestyling, but servicing mm -hmm. the Houston area for the last 12 years, when it mm -hmm. comes to buying and selling residential real estate, allow me to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about who I am. Perfect. Allow me to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about who I am. Ooh. Tell you a little bit, a little about myself and who I am. Allow me to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about myself and why I work so hard for my clients. Okay. Allow me to introduce myself and tell you a little about myself. Allow me to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about who I am. Take it. Go, let's go back. Go back. Or actually, uh -huh. keep going. Keep going. Shit. Keep going. Allow me to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about myself and why I am the GEM realtor. That's what Jim stands for. The the Jim Realtor and mm -hmm. and how I go the mm -hmm. extra mile 
and how I go the extra mile for my clients or something like that. And then, and then boom, your, okay. your tagline. And maybe, maybe bring that down. Let, let, let's put on the next bring. It's, it's time to win. Let's, let's, let's space let, go down twice. Go down again. One more time right there. Bam. Perfect. There we go. It's time to win with Felicia. I love it. Okay. And then now let's add some tags. Tags are just keywords. Um, but at, at the same time, I mean, it's good for when it's just organic, we're going to be running an ad. So the keywords here really don't, don't matter, but it don't hurt to put them. Um, I know okay, you, can, well, I don't think you can tag, you, you, you want to type in something and see the drop down. If there's no drop down, then, then I wouldn't use that word and home ownership or, or anything like that. I don't think there's a drop down for that. There might be for real estate, but I don't even think there's one for that. There's real estate investing. Yeah. See, they took out like home ownership. They took out homeowner. Um, they took out. Oh, because, uh, cause of the, um, because of what's going on with the fair housing and all of that. Yes. The, yeah. 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 So the dog, that dog, Frank. <laughs> yeah. That whole privacy thing, but you can type in, um, Type in real estate, type in real, let's see if any, what pops up under real, just, I mean, there's real estate investing, real estate and rental listings, that, those are cool. Go with those two top ones. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, those two top ones, just use those two. Okay, cool. Perfect. That's enough. And then, and then the, 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 um, yeah. So click out of that. Let's get out of the drop down. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So that, that thumbnail right there, that's actually a really good thumbnail. But if you, if you click to the right, you can see all the different ones. Like if you click on your image to the right, you can choose a different thumbnail. I like that one right there, but maybe, there, maybe, maybe there might be a different one that you might like, but if you click right there, go ahead and click, then you'll mm -hmm. see all the different, slides that you can choose as that thumbnail yeah probably who i'll be making some faces <laughs> <laughs> I like the, um... yeah look, keep going there's let's go back how left. we get back to that other one <laughs> let's see go back go back go, yeah keep going i like this one yeah do that one that one's a good one okay cool so, okay. <laughs> and then what you can also do, like to go the extra mile is you can, you can, you can edit all the subtitles. So if you click right there, subtitles and captions that, that, that's going to take you a minute. Like it, it, even though it's just a two minute video, like that still takes a good, I mean, shit, when I'd be doing it, it'd be taking like at least a good half hour because go ahead and click on it. What does so, that mean? Right there. So, mm -hmm. so, so right here. If you click on auto generate, go ahead and click on auto generate. These are the subtitles. So as someone's watching the video in their news feed, the subtitle, the, the, the words are, are right there. Like the words, you know, um, they're able to read it. If the volume of what, of what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. The words they are all, they're all laid out. It, like as if you're watching a freaking movie in Chinese, right? There's English subtitles. <laughs> So, so okay. this right here is for when people come across your video in the news feed and the volume is off, those subtitles are at the bottom. Even if the volume's on, there's still subtitles at the bottom of the video, which, which mm -hmm. I, I tend to do a lot. Like if I'll put up a video, I'll, I'll put those subtitles, but that's going to take you a while. Like if you want to, if you want to do that, because then you have to go in. And I guess well, show show me how I do it, and then if I then I can always come back and do it. Because remember, I'm gonna run this ad on the other pages. I guess I want to yeah. guess to know what it mean, what that means, what it would look yeah. like. So not necessarily doing it all, but go at ahead least and, no. Okay, click on um, click on that that box right below auto generate. Here. Yeah, click that. That way. It's just, is, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then hit save. Okay, so now let's hit the three dots again. 
Let's go back in, hit three dots, edit post. Okay, so now let's click on subtitles again. Click on subtitles right there to the right. Okay, so it's not ready just yet. Hit, hit, um, go ahead and click on, click on, click on write captions right there where it says write. Um, w R I T up right there, right uh, up the edit to the left. Right there where it says the word write. Yeah, oh. right there. Click on that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. See this right here, what I, it, yeah, and it might take a minute too. It might take a minute before. Did it let you click on it? Uh, I clicked it, but I don't know what's supposed to be happening. Okay. What am I supposed to be seeing? Yeah, you're. Yeah, it's all good. Click on auto generate again at the top. It's supposed to. It, when it's ready, it'll allow you, and you'll get a notification too. When you you'll get a notification on when when the video is ready to be to be to be edited as far as the subtitles. So go ahead and click save. Gotcha. We'll do that. You can do that later. Okay. Okay. But yeah, let me let me show you an example. And one actually, before I show you that, one last thing you want to do also, especially because this is an intro video, click on the three dots and pin it to the top of the page. So let this post sit at the top at all times. So pin to top of page. Okay. 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 Cool. So refresh the page. What happened to it? Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Perfect. See, perfect. Okay, so now there's the text. If you click on the image, I mean the video, click on the video. Right here? Yeah, go ahead and click. Yep, open it up. Okay, so now there's the title. So go ahead and pause the video. Out of Livingston, Texas. That's right. A country girl with a whole lot of energy. Okay, so say that again now. Pause the video. Pause it. Did you pause it? I did. Okay, so there's the headline. Get to know the girl, right? So there's the headline. There's the text. And we're going to see how that looks in the ad as well. So now let's go to the ads manager. So let's open up. Let's, we, can, we can leave that here. We can leave this here and then just, um, yeah, go, open up go. another tab. Yeah, open up another tab and then go to the ads manager folder and let's go to, um, yeah, let's go to dashboard. We'll go to dashboard. We're gonna go straight into running this ad. Perfect, so you're doing great, man. You're doing really, really great. Upload that video to the business page, edit, edit the video, add the text, add the, add the title, um, pin it to the top of the page, and then now we're gonna come back here and run that ad. So is this the right account that we're supposed to be in? The, the, and, and, and uh, what I mean by right account is when you hit that drop down, go ahead and scroll up right there, hit that drop down. You got these other accounts, see more ad accounts. So you always want to make sure you're in the right one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one, right? Business. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. So let's do it from here. So let's go ahead and hit, click on the green one, create. Uh-oh. Okay, so this first one. Okay. What is this? Did I hit that by accident? Is yeah, that go ahead and X that out. Yeah, X that out. Okay, yeah, I think I had hit something. Okay, so we're going to hit create. Yeah, and, and turn off your Wi-Fi if your Wi-Fi is on on your phone because that kind of slows everything down as well. I'm going to turn mine off. Okay. okay, cool. So now this first one is going to be video views. Now, from this point on, the whole strategy, and just let me kind of just touch on how I'm how I'm really thinking. You you want to get in the habit of running an ad every week, like you, and and mm -hmm. and sometimes you may not have to. Sometimes an ad is is doing very very well, and 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 you may want to let it run longer. Like for example, if you're running an ad on a seller guide or a buyer guide, that's what I highly recommend you you put yourself around, because you're not always going to have a listing. You're not always going to have an open house. So a lot of the times when we come, when we want to run a Facebook ad, it's on a listing. Okay, cool. We'll run that ad, but that's only going to be for a short period of time. <clears throat> the, the other, the other, you know, 21 days out of the month that you should be running an ad. <clears throat> if you don't got a listing, if you don't got an open house, what you going to do? Okay. Then that's why the buyer guide or the seller guide, 
your entire online campaign should be around that. So <clears throat> what I'm saying is that you may have to run one every week or you may, you may just have a seller guide that's running throughout the entire month. But in this case, and, and that's always going to be for lead capture. So you'll always be running conversions. So from ad number two and on, it's always going to be conversions because you're capturing leads. But, but in this case, we're going to run this first one under video views. And the whole, the whole strategy here, go ahead and click the green one. The whole strategy here is to capture an audience, is to introduce yourself, is to find your audience, first of all, because you're running a cold ad. So people don't know you. Like, even though you've been in Houston forever, you could tell me that you've been there since day one, but that whole city don't know you yet. Like, you ain't the mayor, right? So, so we, we always tend to think that because we've been in our city forever, we know a lot of people. You may know a few hundred. You may even know a few thousand. You don't know a few million. So when you roll out on, a, on an ad, especially for the first time, you're running it to a cold market. Even though that's where you at, you, you live there, you do business, it's still a cold market. And so that's why the whole purpose of this one is to run video views. Video views to introduce yourself. That's the whole purpose of that video. That's what you did in that video is introducing yourself. And the whole purpose here behind the scenes is to capture the audience. We want to find a few thousand people that actually resonate with this video. And, and, okay. and, and then what we do with that is we turn those people into a custom audience. We, we gather that data. We tell Facebook, hey, find us the people, put them all in this bucket, and that's going to be your custom audience. We're going to tell Facebook, find all these people who watch this, this video for at least 60 seconds. It's a two-minute video. We want to put all them people that watched it for at least a minute, put them all in a bucket. And those are all people that I'm going to retarget with my next ad. And your next ad from your next ad and on, which is ad number two, from that point on, videos, but it's going to go under conversions because now we're going to be capturing leads. So, so it's only this first one that we run under video views. Okay. So, okay. so run that, click on that video views. And then we're going to go to, we're going to, we're going to hit that drop down. Hit that drop down right there, right above the word continue. Yeah. And then scroll down. And what we're going to do here is we're going to simply, this is where you, where you title um, each tab. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what the tabs are. But it's really only three steps. The campaign, the ad set, and the ad. The campaign is what we just did. We chose video views. So in the campaign, go ahead and go video views, intro video. Video views, intro video. That's the title just like you titled these other ones over here, video views, intro video. And then the ad set, we're gonna simply target Houston. And we don't need multiple ad sets on this one. We're gonna just target everyone in the city of Houston. We're not even gonna put a detailed targeting. We're not gonna target a specific person. In housing, you can't target many demographics anymore anyways. So we're gonna leave it very general. And that's what I advise local business owners to do all the time. It's the targeting when you go into the ad set level and you start choosing a gender, which you cannot do in housing anymore. When you choose an age group of people you want to target, which you cannot do in housing anymore um, with Facebook ads, or when you choose an actual demographics, like I want to target everyone who has followed Zillow, or I want to target everyone who is a homeowner, which you cannot do with housing anymore with Facebook ads. So when it comes to a local business owner, I just tell them to target their city, like just target your city, especially if it's housing, especially if you're real estate, just target the entire city. So right there is just Houston. There's no more, no more details we need to put right there. And then the ad just put intro video. Okay. Perfect. And then just hit continue. And it's only, it's only when you go nationwide and you're, and let's say you're selling, you know, you're selling a, a specific product, which is only for the elderly, right? Let's just say you're selling some random healthcare product and you're targeting elderly and you're targeting nationwide. That's when you can get more detailed targeting where I only want to target this age group. I only want to target people um, um, of this gender. I, I, I want to specifically target people who are into health and wellness. That's when you have a nationwide type of product. 
or, 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 or a nationwide type of business. Like with your credit, you can get more detailed targeting with your credit business, but when you're, because, because you'd be targeting nationwide, but mm -hmm. with real estate, it's local, like it's local. So let's just, let's just target the whole damn city. Everyone in that city is going to see our, our, our video. So okay. now we're, we're, we're still on the first tab, the first campaign level. And right here, you always have to go special ad category. So hit that, hit that off button, turn that on. And you're going to hit the drop down and you're going to go down to housing. And even with credit in the future, you'll always be going with credit. As you start to run ads with your credit business, there's a drop down for that too. So you always have to make sure you turn this one, one on. So this is the first, the first tab, which is what I call the campaign level. This is video views, intro video. This is tab number one. So hit the next, click on the blue one. We don't need anything else down here. And that campaign budget optimization, make sure that's always off as well. You don't need that. That's always going to be off. Um, and then hit next. Perfect. So now we're in the second tab. Um, this is the ad set level. So again, when, when you're doing nationwide type of stuff, you get more detail with all this stuff, but, but you're not going to, you're not going to need that. So all we're going to really focus on here is, is what our, our budget is really like you can go lifetime budget. So if you hit that drop down daily budget, you can go lifetime budget and tell Facebook, Hey, over the next 30 days, don't spend no more than a hundred bucks or, or whatever it may be. If you're, if your budget's five bucks a day and, and you want to run this for the entire month, then okay, lifetime budget, 150. You know, so it's totally up to you. And you can go a little lower than that. I mean, it's, it's up to you. And that's, that's why when it comes to the potential reach, watch, let's let, let, leave that part alone real quick. Go down and go down. Let's go down to the, to the, to the targeting, to the, to the city, and let's type in Houston. So um, it's actually, uh, where's that? It's, it might be above. It might be, um, where did it go? Actually, well, then shit, it might be lower. So right here, you got your custom audiences and then, and then locations. It's right there, locations. So hit that, hit that edit to the right, right there, right there, edit. Okay, perfect. This will open up the map. Okay, so let's take out US and let's put in Houston. So we're going to X out United States and just type in Houston. And even though, even though, now here's the deal. You can target the whole city of Houston or you can target a certain area. But, but for, the, for the dollar and the fact that that's your city, I'd rather just target the whole damn city because it's not going to – like we're going to get a few thousand people to see it for not that much at all. So, but again, if you want to narrow it in, if you're like, David, I only focus on the south part of Houston, then, then, mm -hmm. then what you can do is you can type in an address and then base it around that address. So, so if, 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 if you have a, a, a handful of zip codes that you're farming – and it happens to be near Pasadena. Mm -hmm. Okay, well then put in an address. It could be any address in that mm -hmm. area, and then go maybe maybe fifteen miles around that address. Gotcha. So you can do that too. You can do that too. It's up to you. It's up to you. You know okay. you know your business better than I do. Like wh okay. what area do we want to be in Houston, or do we want to be in a certain part of Houston? Gotcha. Gotcha. I understand. Okay. Listen, yeah. I'll just leave it as Houston for right Perfect. now. Perfect. Okay. So, so we'll leave that. And, um, and then what's so, so important as well is that right above, you see that drop down above Houston, Texas, 15 miles. You see that drop down above, 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 above right there, that drop down. So this is very important right here as well. People living in or recently in this location, or do I want to go with people living in this location people recently in this location, people traveling. I always want to go with, if I'm a local real estate agent, I always want to go with people living in this location. I don't want people just traveling through, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's super important right there. Okay. So let's go back up. So, so, so look, based on what we're, what we're, what we got, because we're not going to really be able to change much. We're not going to change the, we're not going to be able to change the age. We can't change the gender. Um, 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 and, and there's no need to target a specific type of person because home ownership is not there no more. There's a lot of keywords that are not there no more. Um, and I'm just, I'm just saying you might as well just blanket the whole thing because the potential reach reaches 3.4 million, but based on your budget, you ain't going to reach all them people. Mm. So, 
So, um, and nor do you need to, like, you don't need to reach that many people. So, so let's go back up real quick, scroll back up. Let's go back up to the budget. So it just comes down to what's our budget. Like, and, and here's the deal too, on the intro video, your budget don't need to be crazy. Like it don't need to be crazy at all where you want to up your budget to at least 10 bucks a day is when you go into, into conversions, when you start trying to capture leads and, and you may even be able to just start at five bucks a day as well. You may be able to start at five bucks a day. Um, but, but you kind of want to be at 10 bucks a day for, for conversion. So when you look at a, a real true Facebook ad campaign for the entire month, you want to be at at least 300 a month. That's where you want to be at at least 10 bucks a day, 30 days out of the month, 300 a month. That's what you kind of okay. mentally want to start preparing for. Like start budgeting. Like if you're coming into January and working on your new budget, I'm telling you right now, Felicia, and obviously it's going to sound biased because it's what I do, but I'm telling you right now, you need to go all in with Facebook ads, all okay. in, all in, like forget about everything else you got going on. Now, if, if you're seeing an ROI with whatever else you got going on, if you're doing direct mail, if you're buying Zillow leads or if you're hanging flyers or if you're door knocking or if you're cold calling, if you're, if you got an ROI on that stuff, okay, cool, whatever, leave it. But whatever you ain't got no ROI on and you're spending money on, cut it. Like it all needs to, it all needs to be cut. Bring it all okay. to Facebook ads. Bring it all to you dropping a simple video every week and running that as a conversions ad. This one's going to be video views, but, but ad number two and on conversions, video conversions, ad number four, video conversions, go all in, go all in. And as I was saying earlier, you're not always going to have a listing to run an ad on. That's why you have to get your hands around that buyer guide or a seller guide, because mm -hmm. that becomes the, 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 um, the, that becomes our entire advertising campaign is, is Felicia and her free seller guide. That's like your slogan, like download my seller guide down. You're going to go, you're going to, as if you're running for president, you're going on a campaign run. It's all about my seller guide. Okay. It's not about this listing I got. Like it's about that too, but but I got the whole month that I need to focus on. So overall, it's my seller guide or my buyer guide. So so that's okay. what you have to think of next is 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 which route you're gonna go, buyer seller, and 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 then let's start giving out that seller guide. We got to put that into Kartra and 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 start getting that out. Everything evolves around that. So so in this case, what I'm trying to say is that in this case, the budget, it doesn't have to be that much. I would run this all month. Like I would, I would just leave it on. I would leave it on. I wouldn't even just run this for thir for seven days. Like I would leave this on. So, okay. so if we have, if we have, so, so, so the way you want, and, and, and I would leave this on for sure. But then also by, by, by day eight, by day eight on day number eight. So right now we're about to set this, but we're going to, we're going to set it to go live tomorrow morning and eight days later, on the eighth day, that's when you should be dropping your next, your next, your next ad. Okay. While this one's still running, while this one's still running, that next one comes out on, on day number eight. And now we're going for conversions and now we're even retargeting these people. So throughout okay. the entire month, I got people watching this intro video throughout the entire month. I'm targeting Houston. I'm, I'm going to leave that one on. So that's why this video right here, this one specific ad, I don't want you to spend too, too much because I really want this to run all month. Okay. So, so if we, if we could put, let's just say, if you could put a hundred bucks towards this for the entire month, mm -hmm. that's what I would recommend. At least, at least that. But if, if you want to go lower then you can go lower, but, but a hundred bucks is less than five bucks a day. And okay. you, you kind of have to be around that, around that number. Okay. So, so could you budget that over the next month for this one ad? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And we'll set, we'll set up and, and, and knowing your billing date is very, very important as well. So we'll go back and make sure we know our billing date because the last thing you want to do is wake up to fit. Cause they charge at midnight. Last thing you want to do is wake up and they hit your, they hit your credit card. You're like, what the hell these people you like, <laughs> I've been, I've been surprised like that a few times. I'm like, damn it. I wish I knew my billing date, you know? Oh. So, so knowing your billing date is very, very important. Even knowing your billing date on Kartra, like that's very important. Like you don't want no surprises, right? So, okay. so we'll check that before we're done. But in this case, let's just go lifetime. Let's go lifetime. Hit that daily budget. Hit that drop down. Let's go lifetime and just put a hundred bucks and just let it run. Let it run. Actually, you know what? We won't even put, we won't even actually, yeah, we'll put a calendar. We'll put a start and end date. Let's do that. So, so the start date will be November 15th and, and go, go November 15th 
and go 6 a.m. Yeah, we'll go 6 a.m. and then we'll just we'll just go December 15th, um, 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do it to when? To the 15th. Yeah, 15th to the 15th. Yeah, okay. perfect. And then change that to 6 a.m. so that there's an even amount spent per day. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that's that's what we need there so scroll back up real quick anything else we're missing at the top before we okay we're good we're good we're good budget okay scroll down we got we got houston people living in this location 15 miles around houston texas okay so we got that so scroll down scroll down and then you can no longer change the age you cannot change the gender um the detail targeting is off that's perfect and then and then the and then the detail targeting click on edit next to detail targeting the expansion is off, which is what we want. And then scroll up right there, that edit. Click on that edit. And this is, again, where most people would put a keyword, a targeted keyword. But I'm telling you right now, because we're only targeting a local area and, and a specific area, I don't want to narrow it down any further. Like I'm already narrowing it down with a city, right? Okay. Like if I was targeting the entire country, then I would narrow it down by keyword and only target people who are interested in this specific word if I was targeting the country, but not if I'm targeting just my backyard. So yeah. I'm gonna leave it open. I'm gonna leave it open. And then maybe languages, maybe go with English. Maybe, maybe, maybe narrow that down. Change the languages and, and let's let's just focus on English. Type that in because that that will make a difference for sure. Um, so if you type in English, see look, it went from 3.4 million to 3 million. Yeah. Right? So that's a, that's a that's good. Okay, so let's scroll down. And we're going to leave it on automatic placements. We'll leave it there. We won't mess with that. Scroll down, scroll down. We're going to leave it, leave it on through play. Um, perfect. And through play, through play is 15 seconds. So we're, we're, we're telling Facebook that we're looking for people to, to watch at least 15 seconds. And that's when we end up being charged. So you end up being charged per view when it hits 15 seconds, which is a through play. So hit next. And we're good. That's the second tab. That's the ad set. So now all we're going to do over here, which makes it super easy, because as I mentioned before, some people, there's two ways to run a Facebook ad. One way is to upload it to the business page, just like we did. And then the second way is to not do that and simply come here to this final step and upload it from our Google Drive. Right? But we don't want to do that because that's running the ad behind the scenes. And when I turn the ad off, it's nowhere to be found. I want that ad to, I want that video to remain on the page forever. So I post it there first. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're running it from the right page, which is that page right there. And then we're going to simply hit that ad setup, hit that drop down, create ad right there. And you're going to, you're going to use existing post. So we're going to go with that one. And then we're going to select post. Click on select post. Yeah, you can click it from there or you can click it um, below. But yeah, that's fine. Click it, click it, either one right there. Select post to the left above the red triangle or you can click it there. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Just, yeah. Okay, okay, so now you'll see it right there. So go ahead and click on it and then hit continue. Perfect. And you know what? Sometimes I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this real quick because. Um, because this is what happens sometimes and, and when it does happen to you, because it may happen to you in the future, um, at least you'll know how to, how to do it. Sometimes when you hit select post, just like you did right now, sometimes it ain't there. So sometimes for whatever reason, it's not showing in that select post. When you hit that select post and you look at that drop down, it wasn't there. So if that happens, if that ever happens, pull up the Facebook tab that you have up there, the number six Facebook, pull up that. If that ever happens, then what you have to do is come to the actual video, open it up just like you did like right here, and you see those numbers at the very top, 1688828. You see those numbers at the very, very top of the URL? Very, very top mm -hmm. of those numbers. Mm -hmm. If you don't see, when you select post and you don't see it there, then you have to copy those numbers right there. Copy those numbers. Okay. Yeah, just copy it, just the numbers copy it 
And then what you'll have to do, yeah, make sure you just get the numbers perfect. So you copy that and then you come back to the ads manager. Yeah, so copy it. Perfect. And then, and then you don't have to do it right now. Don't do it, but, but I'm just showing you how to do it. You would mm -hmm. copy those numbers and then you would click right there, enter post ID below. Don't click it. Don't click it, but it's right there. Enter post ID. You see it right below the red triangle? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah don't click it. Okay. Gotcha. So if you don't see the drop down, then that's how you do it. Go to, the, go to the video, copy the numbers, and enter the post ID manually right there, and then it'll pop up. Awesome. Okay. So we're good here. So we're good. So now all we're going to do is we're going to scroll down. So now we, we see the videos there, the texts are there. And here's another thing too. When you upload that video to the page, you always want to make sure that the title and the, um, and, 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 the, and the text is exactly how you want it. Because when you come over here, you can't change it no more. Right? So oh. you, you, can't, you won't be able to change it anymore. So it is what it is. We bring it over here and now it's just ready to go. Okay, so, so sometimes if you misspell a word or whatever, like make sure you clear that up on the business page first before you bring it over here. Okay. okay. So now with the add button, all we're going to do for now, since our, our landing page isn't, isn't really fully done yet, just click on add button, the call to action, and just put send message. We'll just do a send message button for now. So hit that drop down, learn more, and then, and then go to send message. That's fine. Okay. You said because what's not ready yet. Do you have your landing page ready yet? Yeah, we did the landing page already in Kartra. Yeah, what's it for though? Is it for it? What's uh -huh, it for? We did the uh, um, it's for see. a listing though, right? Uh, my page is what did we do? We did for the calendar, um, and we set this up already. Yeah, but we don't have one for, for like a seller guide or a buyer guide. Got you, got you, got you. I thought we, so what was this? Um, That's for a listing. So those are, those are for listings. That's your buyer guide, which is not complete. And then, and then um, scroll down. This is a book funnel that I transferred over and that, and that's, and that's it. So that's why what we have to do is we have to, we have to focus on getting a, a buyer guide or a seller guide, either one, pick one, it, not both. Just pick one. Okay. E either you're going to go with a seller guide and, and we're going to be looking for listings or, you know, we're looking for buyers, but that's, okay. that's, that's what you want to put together like ASAP. And, and what I'll do is all just tell me, which one do we want to focus on? Buyer or seller? Uh, let's focus on uh, um, buyer for right. Because, uh, you know, the reality is we want listings, but when, uh, to me, what I've found is when I market to buyers, I still get the listing information. Yep. If yeah. that makes sense. Oh, because yeah. if I'm just focused on listings, the person that's buying don't reach out and typically uh, listings are buyers as well because they're moving up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Perfect. So then we need a buyer's guide. We need a buyer's guide and, and we need to complete a, a, a buyer's guide landing page. So, and these two up here that you have, agent called confirmed grip call confirmed that looks really good you did those pages yes i did those were you. for my credit thing i was playing around with that i love that you need to you need to here's what you should do you should well that's a call confirmed that I did. I, that that could be also um your landing page for your buyer guide so that could easily be and here's what i like to do a lot i i clone pages so hit the three dots and then, and then just clone it, clone it. And then, and then let's name it something else. Let's name it, let's name it um, a buyer guide. Let's turn that into a buyer guide. Since you have the image, you have all that's in place. It, 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 it'd be very easy to now add some text and add an opt-in form for, for a buyer guide. Okay. And then let's put it in a category. Let's put it in a special category, hit that drop down. Let's, let's create one if we don't have one yet. Okay, so let's let's create a category, manage new categories, and then let's 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 call this one buyer guide. Let's put it in its own category. 
And in this category, you'll have the buyer guide landing page. You'll have the buyer guide thank you page. As they come to the landing page and they opt in for their free buyer guide, they put their name and email, they click submit, they then go to a thank you page. That's your buyer guide thank you page. So that page, once we create that, that will be in this category as well. So click on add. Okay, and then hit done. And then you'll hit the drop down and then put it in that category. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then no site nothing in here. particular. Yeah, nothing there. And just hit clone. And then as I come into a new page, you always want to get in, 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 in the habit of this. Because as we just clone that page, everything about that page comes over. Everything, everything. Facebook pixel, the title of the page, everything. Everything comes over because we cloned it. So the first thing I do when I come into a page, even when I don't clone it, even when I'm just creating a page from the beginning, the very first thing I do is I hit that settings. So to the left, we want to hit that settings and we want to change the page title, which is the SEO parameters, SEO parameters and that title. So let's take out that title because that's what the public sees in the tab. So as, as we look at your four tabs that you have open, post attendee Zoom, Kartra, eight Facebook, right? Those are the titles of the tab. This is the title of the tab. So buyer guide, um, why don't you put your free buyer guide or download right your free here. buyer guide? Right here? Yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then take out that description. Yeah, take out that. And then, and then scroll down. Yeah, delete that. Okay. And then scroll down and then just click on, click on apply. Yeah, click apply. Okay, so this right here, we'll get back to this later. We'll, we'll, we'll set up another call for this. But that looks really good. Like that looks good right there. All we need to do is put an opt-in form and, and, and put maybe a couple paragraphs about, about buying and downloading your buyer guide. Like I like yeah. how that looks already. So, so we'll, 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 we'll use, we'll use this. And here's another thing too, on the landing pages, I don't put my social media icons. So let's, let's just get rid of those right now. Uh, okay. So this is my landing page. This, this is going to be the landing page. So go ahead and hit the, hit the, the columns at the very top, very, very top. You see columns, you're in component mode, but hit columns, go back to desktop, but then click on columns and then scroll to the bottom. And, and hover over, you can see what is what. So if you deleted the whole thing, that whole thing would, would be removed. But I don't want to remove everything. So go back to co components. You kind of want to just see what everything is. And then, and then now, yeah, right there, right there. You want that whole thing. Yeah, X out of that right there. Perfect. You can, you can X out of each one of them individually, or you can X out of the whole thing. And that's what we wanted, X out of the whole thing. So, and then take away, click your favorite icon below, take out that. Perfect. Because you got to always keep in mind, if I'm running an ad and I'm paying for you to click, the last thing I need you to do is come to my landing page after clicking and then just go to my Twitter. Gotcha. It's like, I don't need you. To, I, I didn't, that's not what I wanted right now. I need you to click and enter your damn name, right? Don't be going <laughs> to my Twitter right now, right? So, so those icons can show on the thank you page. So exactly how you had everything at the bottom, I liked it. it. It looks good. Put that on the thank you page. After I get your name and number, then you can connect with me on IG. So right? is this, okay, so you're saying this is my landing page. Well, right here saying call confirmed because I had this connected to yeah. my calendar. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll, 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 we'll edit all this later. I'm just, okay. I'm just grabbing it because I like the way it looks and we'll, we'll add what we need later, which is an opt-in form. Gotcha. And, and, and even more text. And yeah, we need to take out call confirmed and write your buyer guide, your free buyer guide. We'll get to this later, but I, I want you to just set up the page and have it ready. So click on the green button the actions. Yeah, leave that, leave all that the way it looks right there. It looks good. Save progress, publish live, and then return to dashboard. And then you know what? One thing, one other thing, click publish live, publish live, do it again. And then, and then what I always do is I always edit, get the page link. So get the page link and I'll always edit that back. If I don't have a, if I don't have my own domain in there, then, and, and I'm going to work with just the Karcher domain, which is totally fine. I at least want to customize that back end part. 
Is that right? This was put the buyer guide. I, I I would put I would put what you put in the in the page title. Download your free buyer guide. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then hit the check mark. Did we spell that right? Download your free buyer. Yeah, perfect. 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 Okay, cool. So that becomes the link. And 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 so yeah, now when we go run Facebook ads in the future, the 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 call to action button is learn more. And then we put okay. that link in 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 the in the in the website field. Okay. So we need to copy this uh not, URL. Not, not right now, not right now. We'll do that later. Not right now. We'll do that for our next ad for ad number two. Okay. So hopefully by then we'll, we get this one knocked out. We get these pages knocked out and that's going to be your homework. That'll be our homework. I'll work on this with you. Um, over the next eight days, we need to get this buyer guide page done. And all it is is the landing page. So we need to put some text. We need to add an opt-in form and then, and then, and then we need to create a form and then we need to create a thank you page. And, and, and here's what I here. Okay. So write this down, write this down. This first video ad is going to go live tomorrow morning. But eight days later, I want you to be ready to drop your next ad. So that next video ad, here's your homework, jot this down. That next video, video number two, is going mm -hmm. to be a short two minute video talking about buying. And at the end of that video, at the end of that two minute video, the call to action is going to be, hey guys, and by the way, click learn more below. It will take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free buyer guide. In this buyer guide, I talk about this, 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 or this. Download your free copy now. Click learn more and I'll see you on the next page. Something like that. That becomes yes. the call to action at the end of every video from video number two and on. Every video. I don't care if the video is not even for a Facebook ad. If you're doing anything on, on social media from this point forward and it's video, that call to action needs to be at the end. And if, there, and if it's not an ad, okay, so there's no learn more button, then that link would be somewhere in the text. Okay. Right? So, so it's only click learn more if that's going to be a Facebook ad or even an Instagram ad. It's click learn more. But if I'm doing a random video for freaking, I don't know, for my Facebook personal page, whatever, I'll still say that, say that at the end of the video. I want your entire social media online presence to evolve around your free buyer guide. No one comes into Felicia's world unless they're coming in through my buyer guide funnel. Okay. Okay. So, so okay. that's how, because, because I, I can't, I don't want to micromanage a comment. I don't want to micromanage a, a direct message on Facebook. I need you to be in my funnel, come into my world. And, 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 and okay. the only people that are ever going to come into your world are people that are interested in buying. Okay. Okay. Well, see, okay. So, and I guess this one right here was a thank you page for, for a listing. Uh, okay. Gotcha. I okay. gotcha. So, so, okay. so, so, so here's, here, here's what I want to say. Here, here's what I want to leave you with your homework over. And we're going to, we're going to complete this, this video ad right now, but your homework over the next eight days okay. is, to, is, to, is to, is to, is to, is to, is to, is to make video number two. Okay. Video number two, and you want to look at the entire process of buying. Like, you know this stuff like the back of your hand, Felicia. You know more about buying residential real estate than 99% of our country. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. That's a fact. I'm not just giving you credit. I'm, t I'm giving credit where credit's due because you're licensed. You've been doing this forever. You can, you can turn anyone around on, on what it takes to buy. Like, you know this stuff. So with that being said... You want to maybe jot down a bunch of maybe grab a pen and paper and just and just brainstorm and just jot down all these different things about buying, like mm -hmm. the importance of your FICO score, the importance of your debt to income ratio, the importance of your last two years of tax returns, the importance mm -hmm. of, of all this stuff that you know. Jot down everything and then mm -hmm. start making short videos on it. Okay. Start making short videos on it. All you're going to do is, is bring the, the education. You're going to bring the content. You're going to bring the fire. You're going to bring the, 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 the information on what it takes to buy in the city of Houston. Mm -hmm. That's you. So no more talking about all this other random real estate stuff. We're going to narrow it in and only talk about buying. Okay.
Okay. So, so that, and, and, and at the same time, that's, I truly believe that's what, ma that, that makes it even easier for you to come up with content because no longer are we having to think about shit. What do I, what do I, what do I talk about today? Yeah. You still need to think about that, but, 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 but at least it's on one topic. It's on buying. Mm -hmm. It ain't talking about short sales. You ain't talking about foreclosures today. You ain't talking about forbearance. You ain't talking about, you know, all this other stuff. Like, no, it's, it, what can I talk about when it comes to buying? Okay. So, so, and so, my, so the video should come. So, should I, I would be planning to have a video a week or a video a month that I'm running. It, it, it could be, I, I want you to, I want you to get in the habit of, of doing one weekly. Like, okay. like, sometimes you'll run it as an ad, and, 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 and sometimes the ad that you already have running is doing good. Right. So, so listing ads are going to come every now or are, are going to be ran every now and then an open house ad every now and then, but mm -hmm. every day we want to be focused on at least running an ad for a buyer guide. That's what everything evolves around is this buyer guide, these buyer guide ads. So, mm -hmm. so, so some weeks you'll have a video going out promoting the buyer guide and you're mm -hmm. capturing leads and, and leads are coming in and, and you're like, damn, th this is cool. So maybe that week you may not have to drop that next video. So gotcha. it's only the weeks when, when, when we may need more content where we where yeah, where we may need to run another ad. Maybe that video didn't do good. Right. So, so we want to drop a new video. Okay. So you'll and so how, long, how long, how long should I target my videos? You, you want to, well, this one right here, the intro, that's going to go all month. Like, let that one keep running. No, I'm, I'm talking but, about the time of the video. How long should my video be? How many seconds? A couple minutes. A minute? couple minutes. Just like you did with this one. A couple minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Two okay. minutes. Yeah. And, and that's why you're just giving a quick tip. Okay. Look at it as, yeah. a, as a weekly tip show. Felicia's weekly tip show on buying in Houston, Texas. Yeah, because I have a grip tip guide. Yes. Yes. Okay. Get that okay. and start making short videos on each tip. Okay. Okay. So, so, so here's the homework. The homework is, is to, yeah, work on that next video, have that just prepared just in case. Yeah, for sure. We're going to run it for sure. On day eight, you're dropping a new video, mm -hmm. dropping a new video. But again, I want you to get in the habit of doing one every week. Just mm -hmm. get in the habit of it, get in the habit of it, pick a day, pick. In fact, you know what? Let me look at the calendar. Look at the, look at the calendar. Actually, let me, let me pull up the calendar. So if I look at the calendar, eight days, that video is going to go live on the 15th. So, so seven days later on the 23rd, eight days later, Monday, the 23rd, Felicia is dropping her first conversions ad. And that's when that video needs to be done for sure. You want to go live 6am. That video needs to go, go, go live as an ad, Facebook ad at 6am on the 23rd. So remember okay. that, jot that down. That's super important. 6 a.m. Okay. a new video. Now, here's what the homework is, though. The homework over the next over the next eight days is to is to make the video, obviously, but to also get these landing pages done. The landing okay. page, the landing page, and the thank you page needs to be done. And then also, we need a buyer guide. I emailed you a handful of buyer guides. We just got to get them edited. So now we got to get them edited. That's 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 our homework right now. That's our homework. And keeping it that simple, keeping it that simple, because once you have that buyer guide, that becomes your bait. That becomes your okay. everything. Gotcha. So I already have my own buyer guide. Perfect. I can't Done. use what I already have. Perfect. Done. Where's it at? Is it a PDF? Yes. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Hit, hit memberships, my memberships to the left. Uh, okay. Let's upload that bad boy right now. Let's hit files at the top. Okay, now let's click on the green one, upload, upload that PDF. So hit that green blinking cloud looking thing to the right, upload. And then go ahead and manage my categories. Let's put that in, in the buyer guide, in the buyer guide category. Click on manage, get rid of that drop down. Right below it, you'll see manage. Okay. And just name this one buyer guide. Okay. Okay. Add. And then let's just, let's just start everything in that category. So hit done. And then um, hit the drop down, put it in that buyer guide 
category and then just hit upload. That's the link. So now that link is what goes in the email. So as I come to your landing page, I put in my name and email. I click the button, download my buyer guide now. I then um, am taken to a thank you page and, um, and, and, then, and then automatically that email is triggered out to them, which we'll set up, but automatically that email goes out to them. Hey Stacy, this is Felicia. Thank you so much for downloading my 2021 buyer guide. Click the link below and you'll be able to download your, download your PDF right now. And by the way, make sure you check out for my future emails because I'm going to be sending you a ton of emails that's going to educate you on the process of buying and what it takes in 2021. Talk to you soon, right? Like, so that first email is just introducing yourself, thanking them and giving them the link. So go ahead and click on that. That link will be in that email. So open that up. Yes. Open, click, click here. Copy that. Yeah. Copy that long link. That's a long link that we would hide in the first email and we'll hide it behind a button. So in the email, click here to download your buyer guide and boom, they mm -hmm. click the button in the email. So go to open up a new tab. And, and so they click the button in the email and it automatically takes them to this link. Sure. You can paste sure, it. I need to paste it. Okay. Yeah, just paste it. But that, that would be the link that you would put in, in a button in, in the first email. Okay. So, so that's it right there. They click on it and then boom, it opens up right here. Okay. okay. So, so let's go back to Kartra really, really quick. And then, um, and that's, and, and so, so, so here's the homework. The homework is to get that next video done, right? In eight okay. days, that next video needs to be done. Um, you can close out this in, 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 in and then also, um, um, you got the buyer guide. So we're good. So see right there, that's where your, your landing page would go. It'd go right there, but see, we're not going to do a landing oh, page. My right landing now. page URL would be yeah. here. It'd go right there, okay. but we're not going to do it right now. So click the learn more, go to send message. Okay, but and, and so here, update post. So what I also want you to focus on, see, so now, now that you have the send message button, that's where the title would be seen. That's why sometimes on the title, you want it to be even shorter. You see how it says, get to know the girl behind the, right? Like I want to be able to fit everything. Normally, ideally, in a perfect world, you want everything to fit right there. So it has to be a shorter title next time. So what? So where would we put? Where is this title at? That's, that's the title that you wrote. Actual, that's inside of this here. That's that title. But next time you want to put a shorter title. Okay. So I still can. Can I not change it? Try to try to edit it right here. Go ahead and edit video. Because I know once you publish the ad, I don't think you can change it anymore, even over here. What did I click on? Why did so it go ahead and me? go ahead and click on um. Click on. Let's go back to um. Go back to. Go to the Creator Studio. Click on that blue button. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, Facebook, they keep updating all their stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> That's it's a new, whole new layout that I've never even seen. Check the box to the left. Yeah, just hit edit post. See, I've never seen this, this part of Facebook at all. This is this this just updated right now. It probably is. Yeah, it's something else because it will change on you. Okay, so go ahead and yeah, perfect. So get you know the girl behind the brand. Maybe take out, maybe take out, yeah, take out that. Perfect. You think that's enough room? Put, put an exclamation mark. Put an exclamation mark after brand. Yeah, behind the brand, because brand, that information is showing up. So get to know the girl behind the brand. Perfect. Okay, that okay. and then hit save. Okay, you're good. We're good. Perfect. Okay, so let's go to the ads manager. Okay, so so here's, here's that, that looks better. Perfect. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's, here's the deal. Do I need to refresh or no? No, scroll to the bottom, go to bot down, 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 make sure everything is good. 
keep going. Okay, so that's the pixel. You always wanna make sure that your pixel is the correct one right there. Always make sure that that's good. Um, and then go ahead and publish. Hit the green one. Did it say publish? Yeah, hit the green one and you're good. So now that ad will go into review and it'll be approved later on. You'll get a notification. You may even get an email um, when, it, when it's ready to go live, when everything is approved. So um, X out of this, top left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the top left, just hit that X. X, X out of this. Okay, right so yeah. So, so this right here, this is what we just worked on. These three tabs, campaigns, ad set, and ads. Right now you're in the ad tab. So click that middle tab, ad sets. So this is what we're titling, Houston. And then click on the first campaign, the first tab. That's what we're titling. We titled it video views, intro video. So the titles are very, very important. Just so when you look at it from this view, you can, you can, you can know, automatically know what ad that is. So you don't have to worry about turning this one off because it'll turn off, you know, at the end of the month. But what you want to do is make sure you know your billing date. So, so let's, let's, let's hit the, let's, hit, I know we saved it in the folder. So let's go to the billing. Let's look at the billing date. I think it's the sixth. Perfect. Yeah. So December 6th. Okay, cool. Um, and that's the card right there. Okay, good. So then, so then here's, here's the homework. So we're good with this ad. Here's the homework. Here's the homework. The homework is to work on ad number two for sure. Video ad number two. Okay. Video ad number two on the, on, on day eight from tomorrow, eight days, which is the 23rd, that new video needs to go, needs to go live. That's when we start capturing leads. Um, mm -hmm. and then also what we'll do is, um, in fact, let's do that now. Let's do that now. Let's go back to the ads manager. Click on um, the tab ads manager and then click your, your folder. Go to the ads manager folder at the top and let's go to, let's go to custom audiences. Let's, let's start the audience. I'm pretty sure we can, we can start it now. Okay, so let's go to create audience to the left, create audience and custom audience. And what we'll do is we'll just get it started now. Let's start, let's start video, click on video. And then um, click inside, choose a content type, click that. In here? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to go with, we're going to go with 25%. Let's go with, let's go with 25%. People who watched at least 25% of your video. And then click right, click choose videos. And then let's see if we can find yeah, hit the page, hit the drop down, and go to your go to that that's that page. No, right below it. Right there. That yeah. So let's go to the right page. Perfect. It's there. Okay, cool. So click on that one right there and hit confirm. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna title it. So we're gonna title it, hit confirm. We're gonna give it a name right below. We're gonna give it people. No, that that it's already 25%. So leave that. Just go to the audience name, name that right there. So, so intro video, 25%. Intro video, 25%. Perfect. So as this goes live, Facebook is going to start capturing the data of those who are watching at least 25%. Those are the people will retarget with from this point on, from this point on, you're going to always want to retarget this, 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 this group. Because from this point on, this ad is going to run the whole month. I truly believe you need to leave this ad running at all times, at all times. But we'll start with 30 days for now. It's just because there's 3 million people there. You ain't going to hit that many people at all at all. So, so why not just let it, let it ride? Like let that video ride. And, and if I can send out an intro video and then hit people with my next ad of, of those who are watching it, like that's, that's going to be a good audience for you. So hit create audience. Okay, so say for example, like we have it uh, hit, stay there or hit next? Hit next. Okay. And then done. Okay, so like we currently have, uh, have it set to go for 30 days. Mm -hmm. Can you ever change uh, that? So say yes. for example, if you wanted to run uh, like $5 a day and just let it run. Yes, that's what I would do if I were you. So that'd be one fifty a month, but it it and it would run all the time. Like I would, and it, 
I, I would do that. I would do that. But let it run for 30 days. And then if anything, you could just you could just extend it. So we can go back and change it. We'll just do yeah. we need to change it before the before that 30th day that it shuts yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll want to do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll want to we'll want to change it before the before the thirtieth day. Cause that'll let us know what it's actually doing, I guess. Oh yeah, for sure. We'll start seeing numbers on it for sure, for sure, for sure. Now the budget's okay. not the highest. It's not that's not the highest budget, but at the same time, that's why that's why I I would rather have it at, on a lower budget and let it let it run, let it run. Right. Like even let it run even even lower than five bucks a day. You know, which is where we're at right now. We're we're under five bucks a day with it. But, okay. but it's an intro video, it's video views, and I, again, I want it to always run. Let it always run. Let it always capture me an audience. Let, let everyone see me for the first time as an intro video. And, and, and all I'm going to do is spend ad number two and on retargeting everyone who keeps watching that first one. Gotcha, because if it's always or constantly running, mm -hmm. then it's always going to be capturing new people to my audience. Is that what you're saying? Yes, it's going to always be adding more people to that custom audience intro video, 25%. And if I can keep retargeting those people with future ads, that's where right. my audience really starts to get to know me. That's where my city really starts to get to know me. Everything about Facebook ads is retargeting people who engaged with your previous stuff. Okay. That's what it's all about. So, so that's where most drop the ball. Most will run one ad for a couple bucks, shut it off, and automatically bitch on how their ads didn't perform. It's like, dude, you ran it for five days. Like, what? You never ran it again. Like, what do you? Right. So you can't do. You don't. You, you can't do that. It's all about retargeting. It's all about running ads consistently and retargeting those who are watching your stuff. If you're not right. doing that, there's no ROI. Right. That's why it's so important to, to, to run it, to run ads consistently and, and, and build it around one main campaign, have one carrot that we're going to dangle. And that one carrot is our buyer guide. So mm. if I can constantly run that every month and retarget people who are watching my videos, people are going to start downloading it because they keep mm. seeing me because I, I keep retargeting them. That's the person that saw me in video number one. Now we're on video number nine. And, and, and they keep seeing me, right? So, mm -hmm. and, and because you're targeting such a small area, that's the, the, the real brand recognition really starts to take over. You're only targeting a, a small area. So it, it doesn't okay. take that many videos before that whole town's gonna know who the hell you are. I'm telling you, after a few videos, Felicia, you're gonna be going out to the grocery store. People are gonna recognize you. Mm -hmm. This is like having a commercial. Like this is literally running a commercial 24-7. Gotcha. And, and so it's just now, now, now you're going to be beyond people's cell phone. Now you're going to be in people's news, Facebook news feed. It's the gotcha. same thing. This is a commercial for, for a fraction of what you would spend on TV. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So, so, so sense. keep that going. So, so, so here's your homework. So in closing, cause I got to jump on another car. right now. Sure. Here's the homework. The homework is, is to get that second video done at the end of that two minute video or whatever it is, you're given a tip on buying at the end. Mm -hmm. There's that call to action. There's that call to action. And, and at that point with this video, there's a learn, there's, there's, there's a send message button. We added send message, but in the second video and on every video is going to have learn more. So okay. the call to action, the last 10 seconds, Hey guys, and by the way, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free buyer guide. Okay. In this buyer guide, I talk about this, this, and this, you don't want to miss out. Click learn more. It's free. You can go over to my page and download a copy now. Right. So something yeah. like that. That's the call to action at the end of every video. But go back to Karcher real quick. Here's another homework. Here's another, another, another very, very important um, part of, of our homework. Go to click on my pages. Here's what I want you to do also. This does not have to be a two minute video. This can be this can be a a, a 60 second video. But here's what you want to also do. Click on let's clone, let's clone one more page. Clone, clone the agent call confirmed. Clone that one because that has the social media icons at the bottom. Now we'll keep the social media icons. We'll keep it because now this is going to be the thank you page. Change the page name and this is going to be buyer guide. Thank you. Buyer guide. Thank you. And, and then throw this in the buyer guide category. Here's your other homework. Yeah, we got to get these two pages up and going. But what's, what, what, what the homework is, is for you to go ahead and clone it. And again, as we come into a page, first thing we're going to do is change the settings, change the page title. 
make sure that that reflects and it shows the right verbiage on what we're trying to, you know, because the public, they see that in the, in the page tile. We'll clean all this up later, but the SEO parameters, page title, that right there. And just put, 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 um, put thank you or put schedule your call now. I would put schedule your call now because here's the deal. Here's the homework. Here's what I'm going to tell you to do. Go ahead and put schedule your, your call now. What? Okay. Okay. Schedule your call now. And then, and then go, and then take out the agent strategy scheduling and then just go down and apply. Always click that green apply button. Okay, cool. So here's the homework and go ahead and just save, hit the action, save progress, publish live, and then return a dashboard. And at least we just have the page up. Here's the homework on this thank you page. Here's what I want you to work on over the next eight days. As people, now let me share my screen. Let me share my screen so I can show you what I'm really, what I'm really talking about. So go to, yeah, change that. Schedule your call now. That's what I would put. Schedule your call now. Okay, perfect. Okay, so close and then, and then actions and return to dashboard. Okay, cool. So, so here's, Here's the homework, and I'm going to show you on on my end. Um, okay, so let me let me share screen and come over to my page real quick. Okay, so here's here's the deal. As people go to your landing page and they and they and they enter their name and email, they're then taken to a thank you page, right? That's the thank you page that we just set up real quick right now. But here's what I want you to do. On that thank you page, I come in. I, I, I download your stuff. I put my name and email. I come to your thank you page and here's what I'm recommending you do. When I come to that thank you page, I should see a video just like this. So boom, I just came to your buyer guide page. I enter my name and email. I click submit, send me my, 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 my buyer guide. I then come here. This video right here should be a short, it could be, it could be 60 seconds, but here are the four points that I want you to touch on. And I'm recording this too, so I'll send you the recording, but jot this down just in case you want, you, you want to jot it down. Here are the four yeah. bullet points that you're going to hit on this video. Simple video, simple, simple video, same style as what you did with the other one, that intro, that cell phone with you in the, in, in at the home office that it looked like that's a perfect video. Perfect. It could be the same thing for this one. Here are the four bullet points. Number one, you're thanking them. This is someone that just came to your page. They just entered their name and email. They just downloaded your buyer guide. Thank them and show gratitude. Thank them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for downloading my 2021 buyer guide. In this buyer guide, you're going to learn this, 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 and this, this, and this. That's number one. I'm thanking them. I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm introducing myself. Hey guys. And by the way, I'm Felicia. I've been in the industry for the past 20, uh, 12 years. Here's why I'm here's why I'm passionate. Here's why I'm so excited. Here's here's why I'm 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 optimistic on the future. I'm just introducing myself, right? I'm a buyer's agent. I've been working with buyers for the past twelve years. I'm just a, it's not pitching who I am. It's just a simple intro. That's number two. I'm introducing mm -hmm. myself. Number three, I'm telling them to check their email. I just sent you your e your buyer guide. Check your email. Sometimes it may land in spam. Check that just in case. But the title of the email is going to be your 2021 buyer guide. So I'm just, and you can name it whatever you want, but the subject line, the title of the email, let them know mm -hmm. what that was so they can be, be on the lookout for it. So, and that's bullet point number three. Bullet point number three is check your email. I just sent it to you. It's titled your 2021 buyer guide. You'll be able to click on that email and download your copy right away. And also be on the lookout because I have future emails that are going to be coming your way that are going to educate you on the process of buying. You're not going to want to miss one of them. So make sure you check your emails. So that's number three. Bullet point number four, I'm telling them to click the button to schedule a call. So that's the fourth bullet point is that I'm telling them, I'm saying, hey, and by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call where I consult you and I give you all my secret strategies on putting you in the best position possible to purchase your next home, click the button below. It will take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. I can't wait to talk to you. And again, check for your email. You're not going to want to miss that PDF. You guys are going to love it. Talk to you soon.
So number one, I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm, t- I'm introducing myself. Number three, I'm telling them to check their emails and continue to check their emails. And number four, I'm telling them to click the button to schedule a call. Excellent. That could be all done in a, in a, in a one to two minute video. But that's Excellent. powerful. That thank you video is powerful. Not only did I see her video ad, but I'm also seeing her again on the thank you page. And then as these emails start to go out, which we'll get into later on another call, but as those emails go out, that's, that's why I sent you the other pages. Let me go back. That's why I sent you, um, well, the pages that had the video, which is this one right here. But as the emails go out, those emails should be educating me on that buyer guide. So for example, the first email goes out, that's the link to download my my buyer guide. That's the PDF, that's the first email. But the second email, we're gonna set those up in a drip system in the sequence, we're gonna have those automated. I would have 10 emails ready to go. So as email number two goes out, email number two is talking about page three in the buyer guide. Email Email number three is talking about page five in the buyer guide. But in these emails, what I would do to take it up a, a step further. Now, again, you don't got to do this now. We'll do this you know, later on, but I'm just planting the seed. In those emails, not only is it text, hey, Dave, this is Felicia. Just wanted to follow up. This is email number four. Hey, I know a few days ago you downloaded my 2021 20, buyer guide. Do you remember on page nine when I was talking about the importance of your debt to income ratio? Here's what I meant by it. Click here to watch a one-minute video that I just put together with a, with a clear explanation helping you on this tip. Click here, and then boom, when they click, they come to a Karcher page where it's you on video, and it's, it could be a short two, one minute video talking about that specific tip on page nine. Okay. That's down the line, that's when you have more time available, that's when you could put all that together. But that's, that's what I would do. So as that, that's why those pages that I sent you that have that, that other female, in each on each page that's all she's doing that's what i advise her to do she did it she knocked okay. out a video for every part of the damn buyer guide and 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 that's just the and and the whole reason for that is because video 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 the more i can keep seeing your face the more you're going to psychologically indoctrinate me which gets me to like you know you and trust you cuz i keep okay. seeing your damn video not only am okay. i seeing it with a facebook ad because you keep retargeting me but I saw it on the thank you video, on the thank you page. I'm now seeing it in all your emails. You're taking me to a, to a page to, 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 to watch what that tip is. Mm-hmm. You got me. You got me. Like psychologically, I'm already knowing that I believe you. I'm already knowing that I know you. I'm already feeling like I trust you. Right? Okay. It's not your generic image of a house. It's Felicia in the flesh. You okay. know what I mean? So there's magic behind that. We'll get to that later. But but, but I just wanted to plant the seed. So, but, but right now it's, 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 it's the thank you video. It's the thank you video. It's the thank you video. Okay. Work on that thank you video for the thank you page. That doesn't have to be done right now, but, but knock it out in the next week or so because that's a video that can go on the thank you page. If you're not going to put together videos in the email sequence right now, that's fine. But at least on that thank you video, let's, let's get them, let's get them, let, let's get them to see you again. And, and again, po- bullet point number four is to get them to smash that yellow button and schedule a call. Okay. Because at the end of the day, I need you on the phone. I need, it to, I need to be talking to you. Let's keep it real, right? At the end of the day, all this stuff could sound pretty, but unless I get people on the phone, it don't matter. So exactly. right here, I'm trying to get them on the phone. I'm trying to get them to schedule that call. And then also, that's why the emails are so important. That's why I'm telling you to take it up another level on the email marketing and put your video out there. Because as you can see, these videos, the pages – in the emails, take me to a Kartra page with a video with a button. So for example, if, I, if my buyer guide is on 10 tips, I'm gonna break those 10 tips down via email, but I'm also gonna do it via video. And at the end of my video on email number four, where I'm talking about tip number four on page nine, it's a one minute video of me talking about that. At the end of that video, this is email number four, at the end of that video, there's a call to action. Hey guys, and by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call where I give you all my tips and tricks on what it takes to get you in the best position to buy your next home, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. 
Can't wait to talk to you. Mm -hmm. If you dropped a video like that and there was 10 of them lined up, automated, all in an email sequence, and we're telling people to click the button, mm -hmm. trust me, it's all about the top of the funnel. As long as we're running Facebook ads, that's the top of the funnel. I need to fill my pipe. I need to run those ads at all time. As long as I can do that, this back end is going to be full of people going through my process, scheduling a call. The ultimate goal is for Felicia to wake up every single day with three, four new appointments on that calendar. And you, didn't, and you didn't lift a finger. These are all people that are interested in buying because they're coming through your process. Excellent. So that's kind of what needs to be done right now is that thank you video. And then, and then your, your video for ad number two, and then, and then, and then, and then the landing page and the thank you page, just touching that up, but we'll schedule another call and I'll help you touch those pages up for sure. All right. Okay. Excellent. So let's let this, let's let this ad go live and then let's chat, let's chat next week and, and then we'll go from there. All right. Good deal. All right, Felicia. Thank you so All much. Right. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Same to you. Okay. Bye-bye.